Hey, nice to see you again, Dominic, the CX guy, your favorite Zendesk consultant. Today's topic is going to be, uh, does Jira integrate with Zendesk? Would I be making a video if it weren't possible? No. <laughs> so yes, it does integrate with Zendesk. Before we begin, please subscribe to this channel. Please like this video. Please comment if you want to see some special content. I only have around 25 more ideas and I run out of ideas to make videos. <laughs> so please go ahead and comment if you want to see something. Um, what I wanted to do, what I wanted to say is like, because you're getting all this free content, there is a link in the description. So maybe use it and give me your email. That would be very much appreciated. Okay, I have a slightly different uh, setup because I've been stuck in the house with the Rona. Freaking Rona, man, it, it's my turn, I guess. I've been vaccinated three times, but I still got it. My dark days are behind me. So yeah, I'm here making this video. Again, does Zendesk integrate with Jira? Yes, it does. And I'm going to show you how to do it. There's many ways to customize your Jira integration with Zendesk because it's, yeah, it's a very complex tool. They're both very complex tools and they can be amazingly efficient if you integrate them and use them to your benefit. You wouldn't probably wouldn't know what, uh, what you would probably wouldn't know. No, let me say it a different way. You know what Jira is, you know what Zendesk is, otherwise you wouldn't be here. But just in case you're not in the loop, yeah, Jira is a um, development, agile development pro project management tool uh, that is mostly used for development. And Zendesk, well, it's your favorite customer service tool. So let's see how to integrate it with Zendesk support. I will be sharing my screen and we jump right into it. Oh, very important. Don't try this on anything other than Chrome. I have tried it on, I use Brave, Bra Brave Browser and it, yeah, didn't work. So Chrome works, it's working well, uh, and please use Chrome in order to make this integration work. Uh, then you can use it with your favorite browser, but uh, just to make sure use the um, use Chrome to integrate it. Okay, so let me share my screen. So we're on Jira, oh, we're on Brave, sorry. And opening Chrome. Okay, so first step is to go into Zendesk, go to admin, manage apps, and then go to marketplace. Oops, sorry. Marketplace. Let's look for Jira. Here we go. Wow, quite the popular tool. 4,087 reviews. All right, so it asks me to choose where I want to install it. If this is our test account, install. Now it's going to take me in Zendesk and it's going to ask me for some final details before I click install. I should give it a name and I can, I can enable the role restrictions, for example, if I want it just to be available for uh, whatever custom roles that I made, and of course, administrators, or I can limit this um, restriction by group. So if you have a, for example, management group that only they should have access to this uh, app, then by all means restrict it according to that group. Uh, I'm not going to for this uh, demonstration, so install. This is, should process rather quickly, and there it is, okay. So now we're going to go to our uh, support interface and we're going to see how that looks like. But yeah, we're not done. So we're just going to open a random ticket and we're going to open our app from right here. So right now it's not integrated, right? So we need to do the same inside Jira. So we need to go into our apps. We need to go into our find new apps. And what are we going to do? You guessed it. We're going to look for Zendesk. So the Zendesk app integration. Look for that. Here we go. Support. Send a support. Uh, da -da -da. Get the app. Get it now, please. So now it's installing it. Quite popular, this one too. Many reviews. Very popular install in Jira as well. All right. So now I'm going to go to configure. This it appeared uh, here on the left. Uh, lower left hand side. So now it asks me, okay, so this is my test account link, uh, my Jira base link. And then it asks me like, okay, so what uh, support ticket fields do you want to integrate with? These are a bunch of ticket fields that I have created in my Zendesk instance. 
and I can integrate these or I can synchronize them with uh, whatever I'm, uh, however I'm working on in JIRA. So pay attention to this. This is very important. This is going to reflect in future, in all your future interactions with the app. You can always go back, but yeah, be, be mindful of what you want to do with this integration. Uh, so let's see, Doo -doo -doo. this is good. Uh, let's do, yeah, let's choose something booking type, let's say. And those are the default and I'm choosing some other types of, uh, yeah, some ticket fields. Maybe I'm going to save it. Okay, so this has been successfully saved. I, yeah, I didn't ask me for, yeah, to introduce my test account, but this is it, right? So I had to introduce my, uh, my Zendesk account uh, URL. And then it would ask me like, you please validate your credentials inside, uh, inside Zendesk. I would log into Zendesk and yeah, it would show me this interface. So you don't need to worry. That's just a very basic step, which is, yeah, the system has a bypass for me now because I've already, this, uh, this already existed for me. So yeah, okay. So this has been uh, successfully changed. Let me refresh my screen. Uh, okay, so this is good. I can do field mapping, of course. Um, and yeah, whatever I have going on in Jira, I don't have anything custom, so I can match it, mix and match it with uh, yeah, something in Zendesk, which is amazing. You have to do this. Okay, so now I go back to my Zendesk, I refresh my screen, and I'm supposed to, if everything is gone well, I'm supposed to see this uh, already working. So here it is. Yes, so I can definitely link this ticket with an issue. I can create an issue inside Jira. Let's create an issue in Jira. Uh, yeah, this is my project, an issue type. Yeah, this is a task, reporter. Yeah, Dominic is good. Signee, well, nobody, no worries. Summary, this is a test for my integration. Okay, create issue. All right, so now this is linked to my Jira issue. See, I have already added some tags in here. They appeared, which means that everything is working correctly. Um, I can definitely customize this and it's working very well. I can add uh, comments to it. Um, I can, yeah, I can do a whole bunch of stuff here um, to, yeah, to, to work to my benefit. Um, I can even set up a notification inside Jira to update here uh, with a, um, with a, not a public, but an internal note. And when I create an update inside Jira, for example, I have, I always have this kind of um, um, syntax or update type. It's always going to say asterisk, asterisk uh, notification from Jira. And yeah, whenever, for example, uh, somebody updates, like a developer updates in Jira, uh, it can very easily put the ticket on open status, for example, and send a notification to your agents to say if a ticket has been uh, set to open, if it, uh, this tag has appeared, for example, Jira escalated, then notify your agent who is assigned to this ticket in order to yeah perform an action and see if it's ready. So yeah, they can update your client. So you can customize this very, very nicely. So now if I go back to my uh, project, let's see. Here we go, this is a test for my integration, right? So I can see this. Yep, this seems about right. <laughs> Save. Anyways, so you see it's linked to a ticket inside Zendesk. Uh, yeah, I can see who has been, it has been assigned to, status of it. So yeah, this is uh, amazing how I can uh, play around with this, right? So. Dear agent, this is for you. Uh, add comment. Alrighty. So now theoretically, if I go back into Zendesk, here we go. I see this update from Jira, right? And it always follows this uh, type of um, type of syntax, like uh, dash dash. This notification was sent from Jira, and then the name of your project. So you can just uh, set out business rules to say. If a ticket has been updated, common is, is um, internal, uh, Jira escalated is present, perform an action. Yeah, tell my agent 
blah, blah. So as you can see, this is not necessarily very difficult, but the, well, the magic of it comes in the details, right? How you set it up and how you customize it in order to match your, uh, your flows, right? I've just given you some basic examples of how to set it up and how to synchronize it with uh, Xenas and different custom fields to mix and match them, right? So you can work in close ties with your team. And also I've given you a very, um, yeah, uh, a very, let's say valuable um, workflow or process flow or use case where you can just create an automation or you can just create a, uh, yeah, a trigger to notify your agents that the Jira ticket has been updated so they can update your clients. So yeah, I hope this was useful and yeah, I'll see you in the next videos. Yeah, see you soon, bye.